So if you have damaged or missing teeth, there is good news. A relatively simple procedure called a dental implant could solve your problems. And today, Dr. Sean Moriarty from More Smiles is here to talk about the process. Good morning to you. And good morning. For people at home that might not know, what exactly is a dental implant? Well, a dental implant, simply put, is just a small titanium fixture or screw that's placed into either upper or lower jaw. Um, in order to replace missing tooth or missing teeth. And let me ask you, the best solution for you know, replacing a missing tooth, is this the route maybe to go? You know, in uh, most of the cases it is because it's very conservative, whereas compared to like a dental bridge, you don't have to actually um, damage the adjacent teeth by cutting them. Um, it's a very, very successful procedure. It's actually one of the most successful we do. It's close to 100% um, success rate. And, uh, you know, it is really good in most cases because, um, you know, you can simply replace a tooth with another tooth that you can floss and clean uh, regular. Talk about the procedure in particular. Maybe some people are worried it might be painful mm -hmm. and might have some fears going into it. Can you describe exactly what the procedure is all about? Right. So actually how it's done is um, patients brought in and typically uh, we'll schedule about an hour for it, but the procedure is okay. only about 10 or 15 minutes. Oh, wow. Um, you get numb uh, mm -hmm. like you would as with a filling or something like that. And then basically uh, the fixture is placed and uh, during the procedure, it's painless. Afterwards, discomfort is very minimal. All right, good to know. And uh, who would be a candidate maybe for this who's thinking about getting a dental implant or who do you recommend to some of your patients? Well, a lot of people are, um, as far as the patient is concerned, they're, they're candidates for it. Um, typically, people, if they don't have a lot of bone and it can't be grafted or they've been on some sort of uh, medication like bisphosphonates when can affect the bone healing, um, those people aren't uh, candidates. But most of the time, you are a candidate, you know, and it's good to just talk to your general dentists. Um, people like myself have uh, specialty training in implantology. Um, also specialists like oral surgeons and periodontists, they're the ones that typically place it. But, you know, just talk to your dental professional and they can usually point you in the right direction. And one question they might have for you as well, are these covered by insurance sometimes? Um, you know, more and more these days we're kind of seeing uh, at least partial coverage by the insurance okay. companies. Um, again, it's always good to be evaluated and see and a lot of times the insurance company will, um, you know, will work with, will, um, in order to pay for the procedure. 